What's up, guys? It's Professor Gnome, and we're back today playing some Lunatone and Solrock. Um, this deck is a lot, a lot of fun, and I really, really like uh, playing it. I've been playing it for a little while, and it's just been really, really enjoyable. I think it's like a weird little niche deck that actually performs shockingly well for what it is. What we're going to do with this deck is that we're looking to utilize Lunatone's attack, uh, Moon Synthesis. Is that how you say that? Kinesis? Kinesis. Um, th uh, this attack does 30 damage for each Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. And what we're going to look to do is accelerate that using Soul Rocks. So we're going to be able to attach a Psychic Energy each turn from our discard pile to one of our Lunatones. So the goal is to always have a Lunatone in the active, attacking, knocking things down, trading one prize for two when possible, and hitting some pretty big damage numbers. Uh, thanks to being able to accelerate energies with our Lunatones, getting one powered up all the time, being able to attach from hand and hit for like 120, 140 consistently, or in some cases higher if we're able to stack up uh, energies. We also get to use Cresselia in rare occasions, but when we get to use it and we try to accelerate it into the active as fast as possible uh, on our first turn, specifically because of the attack uh, Crescent Glow, what it does is allows us to search our deck for a Psychic Energy card and attach it to one of our Pokemon. But if we go second and it's our first turn, instead of attach, uh, we can attach three, which completely powers up a Lunatone, but also sets up really big damage numbers for later. Uh, a way we're going to be able to get energies into the discard pile is by using Radiant Greninja to search, uh, discarding and looking for more with Earthen Vessel. We can use our Fog Crystal to help find them. Um... And we have things like our level ball to help us find the, our Lunatones and our Soul Rocks. We can accelerate through our deck with Trekking Shoes. We also get to take advantage of Path to the Peak, and that's really, really strong in the meta right now. And we also are able to use uh, Pokestop, since it benefits us a lot because most of our deck is item cards. And we're going to want to be able to find those, shift to them as quickly as possible. Uh, we also run Manaphy to protect our backline. Um, you could make space for a Jirachi. I don't think that would be a bad call, but I typically don't bother. Uh, I feel like I haven't really needed it as often as it should come up. But you could always cut, like, one rescue carrier for the Jirachi if you really, really want it to. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be the deck, guys. Definitely let me know what you think. Let me know how you're running it or any changes that you guys would make. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you in game. Peace. All right, we're into the game. Um, we want to go first, or sorry, we want to go second with this deck. One, fishing to see if we can get the Cresselia attack off. And two, to be able to actually like use supporters and get through our deck. We want to be able to discard energies at, like wherever possible. Unfortunately, our hand's pretty not great. So we're going to have to Iono immediately. Uh, which isn't the best, but it's okay. The... Kurselia play like play works all uh, works out uh, most of the time, but or you know an okay amount of the time. Uh, that's another card you could cut for Jirachi though. Uh, just kind of depends on your luck, for the most part. Um, but yeah, while well, we're waiting for the game to get started, uh, happy Christmas. This will come out on Christmas Eve. Um, so happy Christmas Eve. For everybody who celebrates, you know, happy holidays in general to everybody. Shout out, uh, you know, hope it's a good one. Enjoy it with your or like your friends, your family, whoever it is you enjoy it with. Or if, you know, you spend it alone, you're, you're good to spend it here. So, you know, shout out to you. And we'll, we'll get into the next year in a big way. They lost their, one of their backs calibers already. That's pretty hype. Yeah, we're, we're going to get into the new year and, you know, make, make it a good one. Let's see what they take out with the VIP pass. Another Frigibax and a Chen Pao. The good thing about this, actually... Uh, damn, they did have the switch. Where do they attach the energy onto Frigibax, though? The one good thing about this is that uh, Chen Pao only has 220 health, and they don't really run like the the bravery charm or anything like that anymore. Oh, this is so bad. 
All right, we're going to have to Iono immediately, which is also fine because they had the rare candy and all that in their hand. All right, well, we actually hit pretty good there. That's We're going to be able to fix our hand a bit. We'll grab ourselves another Greninja, or a Greninja, rather. Then what we'll do, we'll discard one. Get ourselves two. There's the Corselia. The main problem is that it doesn't look like we're going to have a way to actually force it into the active, which is what I'd love to do. So for now, we'll hold it. We'll level ball, find ourselves... Uh, let's get ourselves the Manaphy really quick, just because they could make a Radiant Greninja play. So I want to be able to avoid that. We can go ahead and Fog Crystal, grab ourselves one more Lunatone. Then what we'll do is we'll Soul Rock here. Put that down. Put that onto this. We'll spin with the intention of hopefully losing some energy. Perfect. This is why we also play Pokestop of our own. So now we can drop that down on our next turn. That thing will be ready to go. Um, we're going to grab ourselves an extra energy in advance. And what we're actually going to do is we're going to play down the path. It's going to shut off our Greninja. But really, that's not the, the biggest deal in the world. We want to make sure that they can't search with Chen Pao. We want to make sure that they can't use the Pokestop to help find their rare candies or something like that, or even their own Greninja. We want to be able to turn that off as well. They may have an out, but we want to force them to have to find it or use their outs rather than Lake Aquidity. Interesting. Um, all right. I guess that's all right well that's certainly an out not one that I thought they would run I don't really get why they would or they play the Manaphy down but you know two kind of weird choices in a row they'll be able to get the rare candy Baxcalibur fortunately for us they already lost one Baxcalibur um in the with like using the Pokestop earlier so, as long as we can get into a boss on our next turn, we'll be in a pretty good position. Um, what we'll probably look to do on this turn is, once our Soul Rock gets knocked out, we can put this Lunatone into the active. We'll, Professor's Research, look for, hopefully, either, like, hopefully our other path, that would probably be pretty good. But, also, just another Soul Rock. Get that into the active, um, you know, another energy or two, and we'll be we'll be in a great spot. Well, we'll see what they. Wow, they do play the bravery charm. What is this build? They're just playing like tank Chen Pao. Because what does that make it? Like. 300 health 20 less so makes it effectively 290 i mean i guess that's cool it works in this matchup especially i don't really know what other i guess maridon uh we got the counter catcher though so what's most important is that we knock out this back caliber so we'll go ahead and solar energy attach how much do we have? 130. So we need one more. We'll research here. Re research. Uh, that works. So we'll attach manually for one. Then what we can do now that now that we have everything that we need to knock this out, we don't really have to worry too much about putting more into the active. So we'll go ahead and discard one. We found our other soul rock. That's always good. We can go ahead and solar energy. And for now, we'll just start building up our next Lunatone. I think is the most important thing to do here. We'll trekking shoes, see what we find. Um, yeah, we'll keep that. Place another one down. 
Obviously, we don't need that. Another path, even better. Drop that. And we'll go ahead and... Kinesis, knock out the Baxcalibur. Take prize card six, because it's the best prize card. Got ourselves another research, though we'll want to we'll want to hang on to that for a little bit. Um, we don't want to like randomly deck ourselves out. So they'll be able to manually attach here, but they're gonna have to look for like a. Damn, I was just about to say they're gonna have to look for a super rod to put their back calibers back into the deck, but they just had it on the top of their deck. That's a little rough. How many rare candies did they use though? Only one. Alright. So, a little disappointing. But, not too big a deal. We can hold on to the Ionos for now. We'll manually attach. We'll solar energy here. Or sun energy. Same thing. Attach. And then what we can actually look for, we're going to look for one more soul rock and hold on to that for a little bit. And we're going to find ourselves one more Lunatone. The reason why we want to find the Lunatone here um, is just so we can prep the next one is really going to be like our biggest thing because we're not going to do enough damage here. Uh, we're only going to hit for 150. But... We can KO it on our next attack anyway. Um, so they'll not... In theory, they'll knock this out. Uh, that's... Okay. We'll get rid of Greninja. And for now, one Soul Rock. I want to keep Manaphy because of the fact that Radiant Greninja is, gonna, is just like too much of a threat. And we have another Soul Rock. We can always get the other one back. But getting rid of our Greninja is pretty good, actually. Because um, it's not going to do us much use anymore. And with the Path of the Peak in play, it's completely useless. But we are able to put down another Soul Rock. And start powering up our next... Um, our next Lunatone. So we can drop that one there. Go ahead and Sun Energy again. We'll put this one down. And then we're kind of good just to sit here. We'll moon, knock out the Chen Pal, take the prize card lead, grab five and four. All right, there's another Pokestop and a Trekking Shoe. So if they put down like another rare, like random lake or something, we can always deal with that. Uh, just clear that out with our Pokestop. Or if they, you know, play something weird, we, we have outs now, which is the most important thing. Um, there's Baxcalibur. So they, they can play their Greninja. Or power up a new, um, a new Chen Pao, if they can get that out. But as of right now, we're still fine. Because the most that the Radiant Greninja can do is, um, knock out Lunatone here. Unless they're absolutely nuts and they have the canceling cologne and a, and like a counter catcher in hand, then they're just like a demon. But doesn't look to be the case. So two energies in hand now one. Wonder what their other two cards are. Superior. Oh, Counter Catcher was one of them. I don't think that was a good play. They should Counter Catcher here and at least go for the Manaphy knockout. Yeah, okay, so... That was really bad. I mean, I guess they can't know that I also have boss's orders in my hand, but still. Because I guess what they're thinking is, like, I knock out the Greninja here, and then they come in with Vexcalibur and knock me out. Which, 
isn't inherently wrong. We'll take one of each. But really what we're going to do is... Now they have no energy. They have no anything. So I'm going to go ahead and just boss up the Baxcalibur again. This is just a shining example of like... Chen Pao needs to Baxcalibur on the board. Or it just like kind of can't play. Especially like with Countercatcher in the meta being so prevalent. Um, Pass of the Peak just kind of crippling it a little bit. But I need one more, right? Yeah. Um... Yeah, like with boss being all over the place. F attach. Is this being so frustrating today? Uh, we'll tracking shoe just to see what we find. Perfect. No, we don't want that. Get that in discard. Cool. Another level ball in case we end up needing it. So we'll go ahead, knock out the back caliber, go down to two prizes. We'll take three. Another energy in hand. And so, like, this is the benefit. Like, right now, like, with this board up, we're, we're pretty much set. There's nothing they can do. Game's over. Yeah, they just concede there. And so, like, that's, like, the power is, like, once you have one Lunatone done, every time it gets knocked out, it doesn't really matter because you just put the three energies back on immediately. And you just kind of rock out from there. It's, like, actually really, really strong. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the deck. We'll go into game two in a moment. But, yeah, uh, see you guys in game two. Peace. All right, we're into the next game. Our opponent uh, lost the coin flip, so we're going to be going first, or they're going to be going first again. So we're going to lead very similar to our last game. We're going to put, um, ooh, VMAX Mew. Uh, that can be a little annoying because it's hard to hit those damage numbers without, like, a little bit of setup. Um, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. We'll just kind of see how hard they pop off on this opening turn. Um, Mew Max has really, really strong openings most of the time. That wasn't too bad. We'll be able to path. That's pretty good. So we'll VIP here, grab ourselves a Lunatone and a Greninja. We'll go ahead and, hmm. Yeah, I think this is how we're going to do this. So we'll manually attach. We'll fog crystal for another one. Then we'll go ahead and concealed. Get rid of those. Get ourselves another soul rock. Now we'll tracking shoes. We don't need that. Let's see what else we find. There's a research. I don't want to get rid of both my Ionos. Uh, there's another carrier. Alright. So, triple Iono, not really great. Uh, I think we drop the path here. We Soul Rock to start powering up our Lunatone. And then, I think we Iono here. We give them some cards back, but... Really, we need to like get ourselves going more than we need to cripple them. So, we'll VIP... Grab ourselves another Lunatone. Um, drop that down just so we can start getting that powered up. Drop one more uh, Soul Rock. And then we'll grab another Lunatone from the deck just so that way we have it. And that's going to be our turn. I think that's the most, the, the thing we can do. We could have chose to use like Research or something like that. But I didn't really want to Professor's Research away all of my Ionos and like all my other stuff. I didn't really think that was super optimal. Maybe it wouldn't have been a terrible idea, but I just don't think it was like the best play I could have made. They'll probably go for a way to clear path here is what I would assume, but we'll see. The benefit in this situation is like, we're gonna be looking for, yeah, so there's the vacuum. Um, we're just gonna be looking for like multi-hit KOs over uh, over the Mew Max, so we'll be in a situation where we're never going to one-shot Mew Max in almost any situation if we're being completely, like, realistic. But we'll take three, pri like, prize cards for knocking it out, and it's going to take them a couple different hits for them to be able to, like, actually deal with us. So, uh, thanks to, like, being single prizers on everything, so we should be fine. 
like everything's considered. We'll just have to play it out. We'll see what they choose to do. Um, I think we'll put up our first Lunatone here. Since we have the ability to power it up all the way, uh, I'd love to find another Soul Rock. That would be pretty sweet. So we're going to go ahead and Concealed Cards here. Get rid of that. Perfect. We'll Trekking Shoes. We'll get rid of that. There's another Iono. Honestly, that's pretty good. So we'll manually attach here. Then we can Sun Energy. Drop that down. We'll Sun Energy again. Because we're just looking for like the biggest hit possible right now. Put that down. And then let's see. What do we have? We've only lost one Soul Rock so far. So I don't want to rescue Carrier. Especially because we already... Um, we already lost two, so there's two more in the deck. So I think what we do for right now is that if we want, we could counter catcher and pull up like their other Mew and knock it out. And so then we don't have to deal with like a V Max later. But I think it's better just to get the damage on this, worry about having the counter catcher for later. So I think we just Iono here and look for like one more Soul Rock, which. We didn't find, for oh, well, maybe. There we go, we did find. Um, we can place that down. Just so that way we have it to deal with later. Uh, we can spin the Pokestop. Just to spin it. Um, Alright, that was a little unfortunate. But we did get ourselves another energy. So from here what we're going to do is we're actually going to attach that to the Lunatone in the back. And we'll attack now, put the damage down onto the Mew Max. That way, um, on the next turn, if they choose to retreat it out, we can always look for a boss or a counter catcher uh, to pull it back up. And it's in position where even if this Lunatone gets knocked out, it's not a big deal because we just promote the next one, you know, link all the energies with it from Soul Rock, and just take the next knockout take three prize cards and then we just need to knock out one more or you know knocking out two of these or whatever the judge doesn't really matter to us because we didn't have anything we like really needed and there's the boss so that's even better for us honestly because now if they choose to retreat we still have a way to just pull it right up uh the poke stop is pretty huge for us i mean not huge but it's nice that it got rid of a judge and they already use their float stone, so it, or the seal stone, so it doesn't really matter, but it's nice. I think one alteration I would make to this deck, if it came down to it, is I'd either take out the Cresselia, or add in like a nest ball, like one more, like a nest ball or two, and like one switch, just to make it so that way I could like guarantee it on the first turn, uh, like on my going second, like every time like more consistently i think that's the only thing i would really change but i'd be curious to see like how you guys play the deck and like what changes you guys would make to it um and also let me know what your christmas plans are and like how all that went for you guys or you know even if it's not christmas per se like what you guys decided to do whether you spent it you know at home playing pokemon or if you spent it you know, with friends or family or a partner or whatever. Um, just, you know, kicking back and relaxing. I'd be curious to know, you know, Christmas, holiday, whatever you want to refer to it as. It's up to you. But I, I'd just be curious. I know for me, I'm going to, you know, my partner's family. Uh, it's been it's been good. I don't see them all that often, but, you know, it's good to get to see them when I do. But for now, for the game, uh, I kind of already talked about what our plan for the turn was, so we're just going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we're going to boss's orders this one back up. Then, how much does this have? I didn't want to do the math. 130. So, we're going to hit for 
enough here that what I want to do is start again powering up the next uh, Lunar Zone. So 120. We'll discard. Yeah, so we'll concealed cards here. Get this discarded. Draw two more. We can Sun Energy. Put the last energy that we need down. Hit for 150. Knock this out. Take three prizes. Uh, what I could have done as an alternate play is actually discarded the uh, jet energy instead. But it really doesn't make too much of a difference. I do want the energies in the discard pile because um, what my plan here is is that I really need to find a um, oh, that what I wanted to do kind of involved the hand I had which you know a little unfortunate I wanted to be able to discard it on this turn going in manually attach the the psychic energy and all that but didn't really work out but it's fine we two hit KO the next Mew Max anyway counter catcher still in our deck so we'll be fine or at least should be I mean, who knows, right? Uh, we can tracking shoes, though, and that's pretty good. Uh, I assume they'll just get rid of their own belt. Oh. I mean, they're emptying their hands so they could use Genesect. I get that. But. I don't know. I guess maybe at this point, they, they like. What is it that they're really, really searching for? I'm interested, because they already played the supporter. There's a fusion... Oh, they're playing a full fusion strike build? I would think with the double turbos, they wouldn't play any fusion strike energy. Ninety. So we'll go Lunatone here. Then what we can do is, all right, perfect. So we'll concealed cards to get rid of the jet energy. There's two fog crystals. We'll grab an energy from the fog crystal. Then we will fog crystal again, just to get another energy out of our deck. Thin it out slightly, because we're still looking for the, um, we're still looking for the other rescue carrier because we, we're going to need another Lunatone here. So we can go ahead and we'll manually attach. Uh, I don't need another research. There's another Iono. I could use that, I guess. Wouldn't it be too bad for us? We'll Sun Energy here. Just put the extra one down. Uh, I think I am going to go ahead and Iono. We're only going to grab ourselves three cards. But we're going to grab the ones we need, and that's what's important. Uh, so we'll Rescue Carrier. Grab ourselves. We'll get ourselves two more Lunatones here, just so we have them. Um, we already have all the stuff we need via Soul Rock anyway. So we'll, we'll go ahead, hit for 150. And so that way, all we really need is we have the we have the counter catcher, so we can always counter it back up. We'll just need to attach a couple more energies. Uh, what we're gonna look to do, probably, is we should have one more carrier, right? One, two. What is that? Three. Yeah. So we should have one more carrier in the deck. And so what we're gonna look to do on our next turn is. Our Lunatone will get knocked out. We put a new one in the active. We counter catcher up the old one. We find ourselves, we research, find ourselves the last uh, carrier to grab back a Soul Rock. And then we attach um, all of our, we attach all of our energies from Soul Rock. So the four that we need and then one manually. And then we're, we should be fine. 
So we can put that in. There's a VIP. We don't really need that. Counter catcher. Pull this back up to the active. We'll go ahead and solar energy. Solar energy again. Solar energy a third time. We can research here. Got everything we needed. Uh, we can grab an another Lunatone with our Heavy Ball. Just because, I guess, in case we end up needing that. We won't, but, you know, just for the heck of it. We'll grab ourselves a Soul Rock and an extra Lunatone. Again, just to get it out of the discard. Place that down. Go ahead and Solar Energy, or Sun Energy, to say it correctly. Then we attach from hand. Uh, I don't think we need anything else. And then we just attack, and that'll be the game. So they're going to go ahead and concede. And you can see the power of the deck. Like, once it gets going, you just that prize trade, like that single prizer uh, like ability that this deck has, just to always ramp up. Just hit super consistent damage. You're not hitting for the the highest amounts, but you're hitting so consistently that you'll always end up winning the prize trade in the end. Um, even against something like Mu like Mu V Max, you don't really care because you're hitting two hits regardless, um, like 99% of the time. So yeah, that's gonna be the deck, guys. Definitely let me know what you would think, uh, what changes you would make. Like I said, I would change the Cresselia either out for a Jirachi to play it safe. Or I would add, I would, you could cut the jet energies to add like a switch and like some nest balls to make sure you're getting the Cresselia off really consistently. Um, for me in this deck, I kind of just run it where if I get it off on the first turn, like sweet, like good bonus. But if I don't, it's not the biggest deal in the world. But there's definitely some changes that could be made. So definitely let me know what you guys think and let me know what you want to see in the next one. Uh, enjoy your holiday guys. Uh, I may have an extra video out if I have time to record it, uh, just, you know, for tomorrow, you know, doing like a little Christmas video extra. Um, but with the holidays, I might not have the opportunity, but yeah, like always guys, thank you so much for watching, like comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know what you want to see next and enjoy the holidays. However, that is for you. Uh, if you have nobody else to spend it with, you can spend it here and I'll see you in the comments. All right. Peace out guys.